What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So it has been a while since I've uploaded a video and that's because I've been extremely busy with the launch of my new YouTube channel where I teach guitar and there's an associated website with it and everything. And I wanna talk about how that launch actually went. We're gonna take a look at the numbers, the views, the comments, all that good stuff. So let's get started. So first, what is the business again? Well, basically I teach guitar as a weird droid character. I'm gonna show you, instead of just talking about it, I'm gonna show you just a few clips from the first two videos I've already uploaded to the channel. In this video, I'm going to help you nail these sweet pinch harmonics every time. And I'm also challenging you to perform this pinch harmonic solo that I wrote, but more on that later. pinch harmonic and finally the fourth harmonic is located just underneath this is the solo I'm challenging you to learn and share so stick around after the performance to find out how Right, so very interesting, very strange. I'm not sure even how I feel about it at this point. But to get started, what I thought about doing was having a giveaway because I didn't wanna launch without any website visitors um, or any audience really. So I gave away this guitar as shown right here. And I did it in a guitar-based Discord server with over 30,000 members and I know the admin. And we held this event and I generated 700 emails. Now I was happy about that because I was hoping for two to 300. And so we held a live I, you know, winner selection event where we had a script in PHP because it's based on Laravel that just randomly selected 10 different winners um, from that pool. And the reason I put 10 winners is because I also own Frattastic.com, which is an interactive guitar fretboard app that has a premium uh, feature and I gave 10 of those individuals a free premium account as well. Um, and the first place winner unfortunately lived in a area in Romania, I'm in the United States. The shipping was gonna cost like $1,100. So unfortunately it just didn't make sense. Um, so I went down to the next person and that shipping was much cheaper and I shipped out the guitar to that winner. So the big question here is, okay, how did the actual launch go? Because the idea is I have those 700 plus emails on the day that I upload that video, I'm going to send them an email and just request, you know, that they watch it, you know, if they want to, there's no requirements. So it actually didn't go as well as I'd hoped, but really, I know after, you know, it's been about five days or so, you know, we have over, you know, close to 900 views, I believe on that first video. And, you know, for a first video, having almost a thousand views after, you know, five days is actually not that bad at all. And it's also very evergreen content because it's teaching open chords and open chords on guitar is just something that's timeless. So it's evergreen, it's, go, it's always going to get views, fortunately. Now, we looked at the, the analytics of it once it was available after about 48 hours and the one big issue was the retention. So after about 30 seconds, over 50%, like 60% of people just stopped watching. And so the big takeaway from that is my intro was too long. You know, I wanted to get into the teaching element a little bit faster. Now what's cool is the website at riffscape.com, that's where each of the videos that I upload, people are directed to because there's an associated challenge. So I have a partner who built this site within like three weeks uh, with Laravel, which is an awesome just ecosystem for developing websites that are dynamic. I used to work with it myself back in 2017. And each one has a actual associated challenge page. Each one has badges. So uh, there's a performance in open chords for the first video. Uh, and if you could play that and you upload a video of yourself, which our, our site allows you to upload video through the Mux API, I, then you can earn badges and points and in the future people will be able to comment. So unfortunately we only have one other submission at this point in time outside of myself. And so I think it's going to be a matter of educating people what exactly what this is so far. So 
We took our findings from that first video and we tried to apply it to a second video. In the second video, I worked on for three days straight or like two and a half days. And trust me, it's a massive amount of work because there's a lot that goes into each of these videos. And I was really hoping maybe this one would do a little bit better, but it's a little bit more of a niche content, um, pinch harmonics, which is a more advanced kind of guitar technique. And at this point in time, the views are not that great. You know, I up uploaded this one yesterday and the silver lining here though, is that I've uploaded some of these videos to some different guitar subreddits and they have been very helpful because I've been requesting feedback. You know, do I keep the droid character? Does it make sense? You know, how is everything else? And so I'm gonna show you some of the comments that I received right here. And I would say 95% are like positive. Now, some people don't like the droid character. Some people love the droid character. I, and it's one of those things, I'm kind of like, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it up because some people made some really good points about this character. You know, people want to be able to connect with a creator's face and see, you know, what they're actually saying. Another comment was about the droid's voice, my voice. It kind of just didn't match the droid character. So all of these different things are, are feedback that we can then just slowly over time with a video, maybe once a week or so, integrate in order to continually improve these metrics that will hopefully get me out there. I personally believe it's probably just a matter for this YouTube channel, a matter of people, you know, becoming exposed as much as possible to what I'm doing. I've, the Reddit comments, it's a lot easier to, to rank high in Reddit than it is to, to rank high in YouTube. Um, and so I think there's certainly something here to be said for uh, having a future doing this type of format of teaching. So I'm really excited about the future of the guitar channel, but it's going to take time. You know, it, I, I have to be in it for the long haul and I have to at least stick with this format for the next five to 10 videos just to see how people, you know, how it ends up resonating with people. Now for this YouTube channel, I'm super excited because, you know, I know I haven't been uploading very much lately, but that's gonna change very shortly because I am going to start a new freelance design agency. I'm gonna be getting back into UI UX design freelance and that's for multiple reasons. And I'll get, I'll cover this in a video very shortly coming up, but I wanna document the process of me building a freelance one man show design agency with all of you. And that's where a lot of my content is going to be started to focus towards. So anyhow, hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think about this whole guitar business and I will see you soon, bye.